Hi, I'm Dr. Naomi Norman. I'm an education researcher, consultant and author. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of Pearson's exciting digital platform, ActiveHub. ActiveHub is a powerful data-led solution to help boost student progress. Using interconnected assessments, data-driven insights and resources, ActiveHub helps trusts, school leaders, teachers and learners get a better view of their progression needs. ActiveHub is split into three key areas, resources and tasks, assessments and insights. And today I'm going to focus on the resources and tasks available within ActiveHub. So let's get started, shall we? As you can see, there is a range of content for a number of subjects. There is a mixture of ebook content and resource libraries that are full of different types of digital content. All these have been developed by experienced teachers. I'm going to focus on maths today, and these resources are split by key stage and maths tiers. I'll start by showing you a student ebook for foundation maths. You can see I brought up this ebook for Edexcel GCSE Foundation Mathematics, a book that I worked on as series editor. I'll click forward to page two and you can see all the content here. As a teacher at the front of the classroom, I can zoom in on specific areas. For example, if I wanted the students to focus on a particular part of the page, I could do this. As this is a student book, your students are also able to access these books at home on their computers or mobile devices. Alongside the ebooks, there's a range of other resource types. I'm going to show you the Pearson Edexcel GCSE Higher Maths course structure. You can see all the different modules, and I'm going to select Angles and Trigonometry. Now you can see the topics within that module. I'm going to look at interior angles of a polygon. For this module, I've got lots of different types of content. I have homework activities, practice activities, explain videos, as well as their corresponding transcripts and worksheets. All of these can be assigned to individual students or to classes to be completed either in lessons or as homework. For example, I could pick a practice quiz and assign that to the students. Let's look at an example of a quiz that a student might do at home. As you can see, it's very supportive. When an answer is incorrect, there's a hint and students can try the question again. Most of the questions in the quizzes are auto-marked, but if I keep scrolling, you'll see there are also questions that call for free text answers. For these types of questions, students get instant feedback that models what a good answer should include. Meanwhile, their answers go to the teacher to review and mark. With that being said, ActiveHub is consistently innovating and exploring the use of AI to mark these types of open-ended responses on the platform to help further reduce teacher workload. Accessibility features are also built into these quizzes and you can see I'm able to change the colour scheme. So, for example, I could choose white text on a black background I can also change the size of the font so I can make it much larger if I want to as well. Again, these quizzes can be completed by students on their mobile devices. And that concludes my walkthrough of the resources and tasks within ActiveHub. If you'd like to find out more about ActiveHub and how it could work for you and your school, the Pearson team are more than happy to help. Simply get in touch with them via the link.